Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and it's time for another one of Ben's stock reviews. And this stock we're going to be taking a look at today was requested by a long time follower of Framework Fortune and very good day trader, One Life, One Chance, Annie. Sphere 3D, ticker symbol ANY. So we're going to dive into the charts. We're going to dive into the numbers and see what this company is all about. Now I am vaguely familiar with it as it is turned into a cryptocurrency company or is at least trying to but we'll find out about it. You see on the chart it goes all the way back to 2014 and this is probably not accurate. I don't see this being $2,000. This is probably a whole bunch of reverse stock splits and offerings and whatnot that screwed up this chart pattern. So we're only really going to be able to use the daily chart. So back here in 2020 around March, April, you see it went on a, a very nice run all the way up to 557 by July 2020 before selling off and then having another push up to about 450 area and then here recently pushing back up as well. This looks like a big double bottom across a year span. You know there's definitely strong resistance at $5 and very strong support at $1.25. So it gapped up above the top of this main resistance but gave all its gains back dropping below the top resistance before Friday closing above it. So that's actually a pretty good sign that it closed above it. And you can also draw this trend line right here that it's currently on. But this does look like it wants to try to make a leg up soon from this previous year's price range. Let's hop into it and take a closer look at what's going on with it. So they don't have any dividends. Jump into the financials. So the common shares outstanding currently is 19 million. So we're probably looking at a seven Seven to nine million in float for this year. 2020 it was 5.7 million. Very low float. We don't have any numbers of employees. You can see in 2017 there was 388 employees, then 2018 41, and then nothing for 2019 and 2020. So that's weird this is this has pretty much been a cheap garbage penny stock for a while so i'm not expecting these numbers to be that great yeah and these are pretty horrific looking let's go to the overview so right now they have almost 12 million in assets and 7 million in liability leading to a debt to asset ratio of 57 percent I do not like that at all. 2017, they had a lot more assets, but a lot more liability. And they've decreased all of this the last three years. So something, they're doing some type of change. And maybe that's where the cryptocurrency thing comes in. Uh, income statement for 2020, they were negative 5 million in net income. Profit margin of a minus 120% with only 4.85 million in revenue. Yeah, this does not look good. None of this looks good. So let's see. Yeah, decrease in revenues. Now gross profit has changed. In 2019-2020, they did have positive gross profit. Their cost of goods has decreased. That's nice to see. Operating income has decreased. Uh, it got a little higher, but for the most part, pretty decreased. See net income is slowly getting better. Yeah, and operating expenses are cheaper. So that's not terrible. Let's see the free cash flow here. They're close to being a free cash flowing company. Only a couple of million dollars so they need something i'm gonna dive into their website here in a second see what they're about but they need something something is going on they're trying to get better clearly it looks like they're they're at least trying but this company was garbage for a very long time so here's their website not terrible looking and you see they're working on cloud services so let's actually go to the investor information. They've not updated their earnings on their website. The last update was in November 2019. That's not good. So you can see right here, let's see if we change the year. So barely anything for that. In 2018, you can see they regained compliance with NASDAQ. They were about to be delisted from the NASDAQ that year. Also in 2018, they, they defaulted on some of their credit or maybe all of it. See, so they had announced assignment of debt and withdrawal 
install of default notices on all existing credit facilities. So it's on all their credit. So yeah, they've had some issues. This is definitely a sketchy company in the past. Let's see who their partners are. And then it's not like a long time ago. We're talking only a year or two years. So fast track partner program, whatever that is. Yeah, there's no investor presentation. So that's pretty sad. Let's look at some of the SEC filings. They have been busy in 2021 filing a lot of different filings. I don't want to go through all of these. But I'm looking to see if there's anything that pops out right away. Let's just go and look at the first one. So this is the most recent one. And this is a 6K. So let's see if there's anything important here. This is a filing for somebody to purchase a bunch of shares. But I'm not seeing who the person is so far. You can see right here. It's a purchase and sell of common shares and warrants. And the, the signatures here, the investors are not listed. So let's see if we can find that. Again, not listed. So yeah, you can see right here, this common stock purchase warrant certifies that for value received, and it's blank. This is all blank. Right there again, name of investing entity, blank. Everything blank. So this was another one. Let's take a look at this one. This was on the 26th. Another one of these same filings. I'm going to download and open this one. So they just did a $110 million initial public offering. Okay. I see what's going on here. They are reporting the acquisition of Minority Equality, uh, a company that Sphere has a indirect interest in. And these are going to be listed on the NASDAQ capital market trading under the symbol MEOAU. That was on August 26th, so that was this past week. But this is a newly organized blank check company. So this is not a, even a real company. This is a SPAC shell company that Annie has got indirect interest in. <laughs> this is some sketchy stuff. That's about as far as I'm going to go with their filings. They got some sketchy stuff going on but I'm not seeing anything about cryptos. So I pulled ANY up on Yahoo Finance. Let's take a look at their statistics. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything about this company to do with cryptos. There's only 22 million shares outstanding, flow to 20 million. See, held by insiders, 21%. Held by institutions, 5%. There's a million shares short on a 19 million share float. They have about 5 million in cash. Okay, so there's the acquisition. This was nine days ago. Sphere made an agreement with Griffin to purchase additional carbon offset credits, bringing total to a half million credits. So this agreement will allow Sphere to utilize the world-class expertise of the Griffin team for direct purchases by Sphere 3D of crypto mining equipment while parties work towards closing their previous announced agreement and plan of merger. So they're actually going to merge with this company. So they've got a merger coming soon. Let's see what this CEO of Griffin said, I have seen other blockchain industry companies follow our lead through the purchase of carbon offset credits and applaud them for doing so. We all share the same air and putting in the ad. Okay, so just talking about that. And then it says, uh, Sphere and Griffin have the same passion for SEG initiatives as well as alignment and growth. So with this merger that's going to happen, to really dive into this more, we need to research Griffin. Because that's the company they're going to be merging with. Let's look at some more of these news headlines. See, they bought rights for Bitcoin mining agreements. Okay, let's check out their second quarter results here. Operating was a little bit higher. Gross margin, 2021. Second quarter was a little bit lower. Net loss of 2.9 million. They are paying out dividends on preferred shares, but not on the common shares. So that's kind of interesting. They've had less revenue than 2020, less gross margin, so not really any good earnings. So One Life or anybody else who's interested in this company long term, I know you were talking about it long term in the live stream the last couple of weeks. After the research that I've just done, I'm not sure about this company. They are switching to cryptocurrency mining because they were a trash can company in the past. Now, it doesn't look like the leadership has changed. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. I didn't dive that deep in. But them opening that blank check SPAC stock is interesting. And maybe when Annie merges with Griffin, then they're going to IPO onto that SPAC like we've seen a lot of companies doing. There's a lot of speculation to what could be going on, what could be happening with this company. I mean, they've got their hands in some things, but 
I don't know. Looking at the numbers and everything, I mean, there's a possibility they start mining cryptocurrencies and start doing really well like Mara and Riot. But there's also a possibility this could be one big pump and dump scam or scheme to really dump on the shareholders because they're paying their preferred shareholders dividends. The common shareholders, the retail traders or investors, they ain't getting any dividends. So right there is a, another sketchy thing to note so i don't know i think this is a high risk high reward play it's a low float penny stock crypto's hot it's been hot so they're putting out pr for crypto maybe they're going to do the stuff they say maybe they're not so that's it for this episode of ben stock reviews appreciate one life for suggesting me take a look at any i feel even worse about it than i did in the first place but that's okay i always love looking at some charts so if there's any stocks that you want me to review leave them down in the comments below and i'll add them to the list and get them out as soon as i can appreciate everybody joining me as always stay safe out there until next time